Peace. Peace to the guys. It's your brother Isaiah. Again, today with another video for all the conscious brothers and sisters. In the conscious community, keeping the struggle, because we know it's through the struggle we grow. Also, I like to say it's a slow process for progress, and that the race is never to the swift. It's always to those that keep their duty. So be willing to stay in this for the long haul. Y'all already know my videos never constitute legal advice, for I'm not a legal counsel. Nor am I an attorney. I'm just your brother sharing with you education and information about my walks and about my travels throughout my journey called life. And I like to extend all these honors to you because when you honor man and woman, you honor yourself. Peace to all the gods. Uh, I just wanted to make this video. This right here is for, I guess we'll say, uh, all these so-called gurus or those that consider themselves as leaders or those that are competent and have this knowledge with a platform that's teaching this information, okay? This is for y'all, okay? First and foremost, how you gonna be a leader when you teaching division? You know, that's one of the main things that I see amongst a lot of our so-called leaders is that we are always teaching division amongst each other. You got one brother going against another brother. One brother saying this brother fraud or this brother fake, but then you got uh, a thousand other people saying that they support this brother and he's been looking out for them and stuff like that. We got to stop all that. We got to stop the jealousy. We got to stop all the hatred amongst ourselves, yo. We got to stop charging each other all this money for uh, simple processes, man. We got to stop it, man. We, we supposed to be teaching this information to the people so that we can make a difference. It's time for change, man. You got to come out that old selfish, niggardly spirit that was placed upon you. All right? Truth is free. You don't charge people for free. Y'all okay, care you can charge for your time, but that should be a small fee. Why y'all charging all this money to do a DBA? Why are you charging all this money to create a trust? Why are you charging all this money to show somebody how to create a negotiable instrument? Uh, uh, or to do a power of attorney or an affidavit of truth? You charging people $150, $200. Y'all scheming, man, and y'all getting off on the people. All you, all you so-called gurus out there teaching this information and you steady taxing people, you don't know what the hell you're doing because if you really understood this system and you really knew about security interests and secure transactions, you wouldn't have to charge nobody an arm and a leg to teach them what you're teaching them. I ain't saying don't charge. I'm not saying that a man is not entitled to what he uh what he puts into the atmosphere, but I'm just saying you 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 creating usury. You're doing the same thing the government doing. You're doing it under guise though, because you're trying to portray like you a brother or you a sister, and you taxing your own people, or you just taxing the people, period. And that ain't cool, man, when all this stuff should be free. So, you know, uh, I decided to take it upon myself to start teaching this information. Of course, everything can't be put on the internet because, you know, some people are reckless with information. Some people don't know how to uh, utilize the information correctly. They're always looking for, see, we so used to being broke and poor that anytime we get some information, the first thing we want to do is uh, see if we can buy a house. Oh, man, I'm finna, uh, my birth certificate worth millions. I'm finna go see if I can buy me a car. Oh, man, they owe me. I'm finna go, instead of you learning the information, learning what it all consists of and how to make it applicable to your life and then start utilizing it. See, the thing is, we're trying to utilize stuff we don't understand. You can't do something you don't understand. Get understanding over all things. Get understanding. Read, study, research so that you can gain uh, the knowledge necessary in order for you to succeed to be successful so you can stop getting raped by your own brothers you know what i'm saying and all you gurus out there man teaching this information y'all ain't showing nobody how to discharge the debts because you probably ain't discharging debts yourself you still paying your bills the same way you've been paying your bills a lot of y'all been teaching accepted for value but accepted for value is really for traffic tickets traffic tickets and um um irs uh violations not saying you can't use it for other things, but it's unnecessary to do an accepted for value on a bill. I keep telling y'all that it's unnecessary. Why? Because a bill is a bill of credit. They are already sending you the credits. 
So why do you have to do an accepted for value and make a money order when they already sending you the damn money, dummy? They giving you the money. You got the coupon. All right, you got the debt note showing the evidence of indebtedness of the United States. All obligations are whose? Ain't they United States obligations? Ain't it against public policy for you to demand payment from anybody and anybody demanding payment from the obligee must give him an offset dollar for dollar? Right? Ain't that H.J. 192 Public Law 7310 Chapter 48 Statute 48? Huh? 112, right? Am I correct? So who says who owes who something? Who says you can't go on the car lot, put down the down payment, get the car, get in the contract, and then counsel that mud because it violates public policy? And reserve your rights to be secured and demand for a discharge dollar for dollar according to SJ 192, Public Law 7310, Chapter 48, Statute 48. Who said you can't do it? Huh? I put money on the line and say you can. I put money on the line to say if you know what you're doing with contract law, you can do anything and all things through your own knowledge. Contract is the highest law on the planet, man. Everything functions on contract law. If you, all you got to do is use common sense, a man has a free will. A woman has a free will. So anything that's placed upon you is placed upon you through a contract. Do your voluntarily complying or your compliance to the system. When people don't understand, it's just like if, uh, if child support came to you and they wanted to ask you questions concerning the child and all that, and they sent you a letter in the mail, all right? And you respond to that letter saying, this ain't my child, this, this, and that. That's compliance, my brother. You're complying because you're showing... Uh, you're showing by your actions that they do have some sort of authority because you're answering their proposal, okay? If you don't have no contract, you're supposed to object. Send back the instrument, tell them you don't consent to this. Matter of fact, you tell them that if they demand in payment and if there is an obligation due, it must be discharged. Dollar for dollar. Start enforcing these policies against these people. When you go to the courts and they try to charge you for uh, to open up a court case, demand for an offset. Tell them whoever provides, whoever demands payment must provide a remedy. Tell them there is no obligation. Tell them I'm a man. I'm the most valuable thing on the earth. Charge it to my flesh. Because at the same... Uh, uh, all in the same token, man, you exempt, all right? You exempt from taxes. Everything that you pay is a tax. Gas, everything is a tax because everything is already prepaid. You already have a perfected, well, not a perfected interest, but you have a, a, you have a property interest in all things that's created. Helium, gas, electricity, copper, oil, water, air, everything. You have an equitable interest in all of that. So you are already equitable when it comes to these uh, substances or when it comes to these uh, <clears throat> when it comes to these type of goods. So they can't charge you for the electricity. They can't charge you for the water. Not the water itself. They can't charge you for the gas. Not the gas itself because no man no institution can make a claim that they own gas or they own water or they, that, that they own anything that was already here, okay? So what they're charging you is a tax for services, all right? You get taxed for the service fee. That's why anytime you get a bill, it always got what was used, this, this, and that, and they taxing you for the service and for them keeping up with the account and all that, which they are trustees. They are mandated to do those things regardless, but they trying to say, okay, well, we deserve a fee, Outside of what we already being paid and we're gonna send the bill to you and tax you and make you pay us For us doing our job and that's not how it's supposed to be. You got to learn contract law I told y'all it's called the contract act. I think it's a 1873 I might be a little off, but just check me out. It's called the contract law Y'all need to read that not just read it but comprehend it once you comprehend it Then you need to make it applicable in your life man. I ain't paying no bills over here, right? Because I understand contract law. I understand that what offering acceptance is. I understand what they consider as uh, fair dealing, the usage of trade. You know what I'm saying? You have to understand these things, man. The course of performance. You have to understand what that is because 
the way you perform or uh, put you in a contract. You go in the courtroom and you perform a certain way, you just contract it. So you have to be knowledgeable. You have to be cognizant. You can't be oblivious to all this stuff that's out here. You must educate yourself. So y'all look forward, man. Uh, I got my website. It's uh, thepeopleremedy.org. Y'all can go on thepeoplesremedy.org and start checking me out, man, for the, uh, for the latest packages that I have and for the uh, most recent updated information pertaining to anything concerning uh, commerce, man, because when it's all said and done, uh, your life is a business and you must take charge of it. With that said, I'm going to leave y'all as I came in peace. It's your brother Isaiah. As always, dropping truth, peace, freedom, justice, and equality to all. To all my so-called black men, my indigenous brothers and sisters, stay safe. Peace. I'm out.